Hi, this is Dr. Jeff McCombs. Thank you for joining us again today. Today we're going to talk about candida testing. Many people wish to have tests done to verify that they do have a candida infection. As I have stated many times, I believe the most accurate test for a candida infection is whether or not you've done antibiotics in the past. When a researcher wishes to create candida in a laboratory, fungal candida, he will use antibiotics to create fungal candida. That is the most reliable way to do the research. It's the most reliable way to create candida. And time and time again, it's what's been proven to create candida, fungal candida, in the body. And based on the research um, that I've studied for the past 20 years, this would be the most accurate way to diagnose whether or not you will have a candida infection. Now, if we look at some other research, it says that 85% of the people who have candida infections don't have any symptoms. So you don't necessarily have to be symptomatic to have a candida infection. And again, I think this is another reason why we can just use past antibiotic use marker for a systemic fungal candida infection. For people who wish to go the route of testing for candida, there are several different ways to do this. You can do blood testing, you can do saliva testing, urinary testing, and you can do stool testing. First of these, the blood testing generally is the least expensive and runs around $150 for candida antibodies. Antibodies are produced by our immune system in response to infectious agents. So if you have candida in the body, it would produce either IgG, IgM, IgA, depending on the location, depending on when that infection took place, you would get one of these responses for the body. Uh, this type of testing also tends to be the least sensitive, which means it'll be the least accurate. One step up from antibody testing is candida complex, immune complex, which is also a blood test. These tests run about $200. Uh, this is done also by past exposure to candida immune cells in the body. So the combination of those creates a, an immune complex much in the same way as the candida antibody test would. The next level of testing would be saliva testing. This is done by Diagnostex Labs. And this is actually a combination of saliva tests and stool test. So this is sort of a broad, broader spectrum than just blood testing, but the stool testing format is not the most accurate uh, with this particular panel. Next up from that, you would have the oat panel, which is the organic acid testing. This is a urinary test. What we're looking for in the urinary test are metabolites or byproducts of candida being in the body. So as candida lives in the body, it excretes certain waste products. These are picked up in the urine. We measure the presence and the amount there of of candida in the body. Uh, the final test, which is the one I generally recommend the most, is the GI effects complete profile or stool profile. This is a stool test. This is the most sensitive, the most accurate testing. It uses DNA testing or what's called PCR testing to detect for the presence of candida in the stool. They'll look at a sample, and with this type of sensitivity, you can basically test down to one single cell of candida. In the so that is the, uh, the most sensitive. It is also the most expensive, running around $400. You can see the range will be some $150 to up to $400. If you are going to do testing, I generally recommend that you do a combination of tests to get a better picture. You would want to do a urinary test, you want to do a PCR test, stool test, and possibly a blood test or a saliva test. So by combining the results of these along with your past history, uh, any history of antibiotic use, your current signs and symptoms, you'll come to a better and more complete profile of what's taking place in your body and if that relates to candida. Um, now this is, again, these type of tests uh, are costly, and if you're combining two or three of this, you can see that the expense gets up there pretty quickly. So if you're choosing to do candida testing, bear in mind that it does not distinguish between yeast or fungal forms of candida. It may miss candida in the body, as for example, the stool test is most accurate for the lower part of the bowel and may miss what's in the rest of the body. Uh, the blood test is most accurate for the blood and may miss what's in the tissues. Um, candida does not spend much time in the bloodstream due to the high presence of white blood cells in the blood and only spends a few hours there, a few minutes to a few hours in the blood. So blood testing is also the least sensitive, least accurate, and in light of the fact that candida doesn't spend too much time in the blood, it may not be a valid test for candida. 
We have had people do candida tests. We have had people do the plan and see the reversal of these findings in the tests by pre and post testing. And that's another consideration if you do a test, one or two of these tests in the beginning. You'll also want to do one or two of these tests afterwards to validate the effectiveness of whatever approach you're using. If you do have any questions, please feel free to contact us uh, at candidaplan.com or by calling us at 888-236-7780. This is Dr. Jeff McCombs. Thank you once again for joining us today.